as far as the nursery, it's still not finished quite yet. But we have the dresser with the changing table, which the covers are coming this week. This is what I picked up from Target. It's like a three-tier, kind of like a bar cart, but not for a bar cart. So I like this because it's on wheels and I can easily move it. Rocker that we got from Target. These I've had with me. The little cage around it is from Ikea. I'm going to get one of the Rotten, I think is how you say it, for this one. And probably hang another. Some of these I have... These I have to wash. I'm just waiting to get more of her clothes in just to do one last load. And then we're going to put the Ikea bookshelves, which are these guys right there, and take these books and put them on them. Dakota's getting a little feel for the baby's room. She just likes to pop and sit. Well, come on, we're not staying in here. Pretty much everything's done. Uh, the stroller and the other car seat are coming in this week, so we'll have them well before Tegan's here, hopefully, if she doesn't decide to make an early appearance. I'm so excited. Michelle and I just got back from Ralph's and we picked up some ingredients to make our own pizzas. So I just did some cheese, marinara, pineapple, onion, bell pepper. I'm gonna dip it in some ranch. He made some with, I think, pastrami on it? Some sort of meat on it. And I'm just gonna make an unsweet tea. And the reunion of Beverly Hills is on tonight. Well, it was on a few nights ago, but we're gonna watch it tonight and I'm living for reality TV. My pizza that I already cut up into squares. There's Mitchell's. Normally I put in orange juice in here, but I ran out and I really don't measure anything. I just kind of eyeball everything, but I love making smoothies now. Returning this pillow, returning this little kids interactive toy because we didn't go to a birthday party and I just don't want to hold it in the house. Just got back from doing a ton of errands. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday I also did a ton of errands. I got the car washed. Mitchell and I installed the car seat into my Jeep. I finished a load of Tegan's wash. I, we hung a mirror in the nursery. We got her clothes hamper basket. So lots of things going on. Very, very busy. Even though I should just be home and nesting, I'm not. I'm out running tons of errands, which I'm completely fine with because they need to happen. Because Tegan is coming on Thursday. We... I actually decided to do a voluntary C-section. I have one health issue that made me lean towards doing a C-section. I could do vaginal if I chose to, but for the health of Tegan and myself, mostly Tegan though, I chose to do C-section. Along with, if I'm already gonna tear, if I'm already gonna have to have stitches, if I'm already gonna have to take pain medication, because I'm either gonna tear vaginally to some degree, whether it's first degree to fourth degree, I'm gonna need stitches for that, or I can do a small incision right below my bikini line. So with that news though, this is the last few days that Mitchell and I have before she's gonna be here. So I went to Target, did a return. I am finishing up grocery shopping right now, so I have snacks for the hospital and for whenever I come home that everything's just Tidy it up. Getting my house together before Tegan's here. So I'm going to show you guys what I got at Trader Joe's once I put it all away. And then kind of just run through the checklist of everything that I have to get done. And that I have gotten done before she's been here. Because I have this fat notebook that I just keep a running list. And then I'm going to pack for the hospital tomorrow. And that will be in its own separate video. Before I show you guys the fridge and the pantry, I made myself a snack. I was like Dave... Dave brand blueberry bagels with some vegan cream cheese and agave, some watermelon and pineapple. I'm gonna put some tahini on. Gonna watch Cable Girls. The kids are annoying each other, Bella. Knock it off. Drinking plenty of water. I already have to pee a ton in itself just because Tegan's on my bladder all day, every day, 24 7. So I'm trying to drink as much water as I can, kick my feet up so I don't do a lot of swelling, which 
Honestly, every morning my knuckles hurt so bad and they pop more aggressively than normal, if that makes sense. I'm definitely getting swollen. It's okay, it'll go down. I took a few Epsom salt baths, but I'm now out of Epsom salt, so Mitchell gets off in a couple of hours. I'm gonna go to LA. I might go with him, because I wanna hang out with him. But, to be decided. I made a snack with some pita chips, cranberries, and this, I think it's Mayoko's, uh, vegan like cream cheese deliciousness. I was driving around in the car today and we had installed our car seat like I said. And just like looking at her car seat, even though she's not in there yet, just got so happy. Just so happy. She's gonna be in there in like two days. <sighs> two days, man, two days. 48 hours and our baby's here. I'm not stressed. I will show you what I bought at Trader Joe's in just a few clips, but Mitchell and I had a very busy afternoon once he got home, so I just put the camera down, focused on doing phone calls, setting everything up for Tegan getting here, um, just making sure that like all those boxes were checked, which they're still not, which is okay, because I still have the day to do them. But now I'm in Palm Springs. I'm gonna go to the hospital today. I have some lab work to do, some blood work, things of that nature, so I'm gonna get that all done. Um, right now I'm pretty hungry because all I had this morning was coffee. I slept until 10, so I had some coffee while I was getting ready. I thought Frontier was gonna come today. They're actually coming tomorrow to service the house, which is really frustrating because it's been like two weeks with no internet and just, I just hate it. So I got ready, got in the car, and I'm gonna go to Fruit Wonders and grab a smoothie before I head to the hospital which I'm really happy is close by to the hospital because I'm gonna be sending my parents here every day to get me like the popsicles that you guys saw in last vlog. They're so good and creamy. So that's just the morning. We have more errands to do today. And then I'll sit down with you guys a little bit later and show you guys food and just like how I'm getting ready for Tegan for my peace of mind. And look, oh, I'm so excited. Every time I look back and I see the car seat in and the mirror, Got the mirror on Amazon. Um, I don't, my headrest in the back don't have this gap, so it can't loop around for extra security, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not, but for now, I'm just seeing how it rides, and so far, it hasn't moved. The car seat my mom got us, it's a Graco one. I'm not sure the exact one. I love that my car has automatic start. Game changer in Palm Springs. It's a hot one, it's already 101 at 12 o'clock. Smoothie of choice from Fruit Wonders. Okay, geez, don't be so loud. Is the tropical smoothie. It's like pineapple, mango, kale, spinach, I think OJ. Yeah, I love smoothies. Now, off to get some blood work done. And then less than 24 hours, so Tegan's here. Well, a little bit more than 24 hours, but she's almost here. She's gonna be right there. She's gonna be right there. Stop. <sighs> okay. Wristband, check. Three vials of blood drawn, check. I am now back at CVS again because I'm picking up one more medication. Because I'm having a C-section, I picked up yesterday my ibuprofen, and I also picked up a stool softener, and this medication, I forget what it is, it's like a three-piece combo. Um, I'm sure it's uh, either another form of pain medication or something, and definitely probably pain medication for the C-section. And then go back to Target, because I've been in Target legit every day this week. Monday, Tuesday, and now Wednesday. I don't know why I just didn't write a fat target list, but you know, I thought I did and then things just keep coming up that I'm like, oh yeah, I should probably get that too. <sighs> so I'm picking up some snacks for the nurses to say thank you. I'm gonna put them in like a nice basket with a thank you card. And then I got our frozen fruit for the smoothies, coffee, some buy drinks. The lotions are for the nurses, Q-tips, Super excited about these. Filing for 
taking stuff for our bills just to have life in order. And then what I really came here for. Yes. So I will now show you the pantry and the fridge. Long awaited, I know. Freezer, we got our frozen fruit for our smoothies. Some frozen fruit that was going bad. Some personal pizzas and then my breakfast sandwiches that I have yet to eat. Ice cream sandwich, some chicken nuggets. The two remaining ice cream bars I have. In the fridge, we have some almond milk, iced coffee, OJ, water bottle for the go, iced tea. This one in the way back is a black tea from Trader Joe's. Our bread zone. This is the bagel I was talking about from yesterday, Dave's Killer Bread. Some Dave's Bread in the back and Hawaiian rolls. Croissants, cheeses, some sausageless sausage, Parmesan cheese. This is what I used to make that cracker, cheese, and cranberry snack yesterday. Watermelon I cut up, honey crisp apples, another bottle of water. These we have yet to try, but they look really good from Ralph's. Parmesan filled pasta, and that one back there is a butternut squash. I love this banh mi bowl from Trader Joe's, and I picked up Mitchell a Caesar salad for work. We got some cherries, blueberries, cabbage, iceberg lettuce, cucumber that's going bad, onion and bell pepper, coffee creamer, egg whites. I love this drink from Trader Joe's, vanilla spice chai, lemonade, kombucha that Mitchell's been drinking that I can't wait to have kombucha again. I love the buy peach teas and then i picked up at target it was the mango it was like three for five bucks i think something like that marinara vodka sauce now for the pantry cereals i picked up some honey nut o's from trader joe's some Belvitas, crackers power crunch bars luna bars peanut butter filled pretzels those i'll take with me to the hospital nothing new on the middle shelf bottom shelf i got some ginger snap cookies lara bars and some mango slices that Mitchell and I love. And we got a Bella. Those are the groceries that I grabbed from Trader Joe's yesterday and Target today. I'm now freaking hungry and it's like 2.30 maybe. Um, I was gonna make some tacos, but I feel like I'm gonna make that tonight whenever Mitchell gets home. But we also might go out to dinner because it's our last night before Tegan's here. So I think we're gonna go celebrate just the two of us. I don't know, maybe. I think I'm just gonna make a PB&J with some chips. I'm gonna have some fruit later on. I'm gonna drink some OJ as well because I love OJ. I fuck with OJ on this pregnancy. The finished presentation, PB&J, cut in a triangle, which is the best way. Barbecue chips, and then I actually finished off the iced tea lemonade that I made yesterday. You wanna be on camera? You just got done with your food? Pretty much just eating treats? Uh-huh. So last night was my last full, full meal, like technically, out before Tegan gets here because today I'm having my C-section and Tegan's gonna be here tonight. Last night I showered, washed my hair, shaved, exfoliated, all that, and then I washed with the special soap that the doctor gave me to wash from head to toe, which I have to do again this morning. But because I have to fast for eight hours prior to my surgery, I can't eat past 9, 9.30 today. It's 10 minutes till 9. I already had a big smoothie, like the one in the previous clips, similar to that. I'm now having a blueberry bagel with some vegan cream cheese and agave. I'm gonna try to chug as much water as I can. I'm gonna have some fruit and just some like heavier, more filling foods just to last me because I would love to go back to bed right now. Pack, go back to bed pretty much but I'm waiting for Frontier to get here, so I'm kind of on their schedule, which they gave me a uh, four hour window when they'll be here from seven to 12, which kind of sucks. I'm gonna eat, watch some TV, shove my face full of just like good, high carb foods, nutrient-based foods, things that are gonna keep me full throughout the day, water, because I can't even have liquids after 9.30, and then pack, rest, and then off to the hospital by 3, 3.30, I gotta be there, so. I just can't wait to see her. 
Ah, oh, I'm gonna be an emotional wreck. We're getting a girl, and I couldn't be more excited. Dakota, are you ready to be a big sis? She's like, you already brought Bella. What could be louder than Bella? A baby. <laughs> I love you, kiddo. I'll show you guys what I pack for the hospital, what food I bring for the hospital, all that in another video if you guys are curious about that. But I'll keep this one just vlog style. She's got her happy dance going. Now for some watermelon and a few bits of pineapple. Big old baby belly. On the way to the hospital, I'm so excited. We have the car seat mirror, my hospital bag in the back, some snacks for later, Mitchell's stuff. <sighs> The fur babies are gonna be taken care of. My sister's coming into town. My best friend's coming this weekend. It's go time. I'm gonna end this here. Depending if I have just enough energy to record in the hospital, I'll do like its own like hospital day and feel and the three to four days that we'll be there. But for now, Tegan's not here yet, but by the time this video goes up, she will be. So I will see you guys in the next one. I will also add that I'm very hungry. <laughs> Fasting for eight hours completely sucks, especially with doing still so much around the house that like exerting a lot of energy and not having any calories to take in. Totally sucks. Um, I took a little bit of a nap while Mitchell took the trash out and did a last house sweep. So thankful for that. But your girl is hungry, thirsty. <sighs> Whole bunch of things.